Bye everybody! Bye! This week we're staying at Village Nature, uh, which is the center park close to Disneyland Paris. Yeah, there's a lot uh, to see and do, so we're gonna take you guys along. Over here we have a really nice living room with a small table, a TV. I don't think we can play our own stuff on the TV. Some nice nature-y art because hey, village nature, so the nature has to be present here. It's really cozy, I think. Yeah, I think it's um, it's big enough for two person and probably the couch is a pull-out couch, I think. I don't think so, actually. No, I think it's just... Oh, well, no, oh it no, it is, it is, it is. Oh. Look, there's a bed in there. Don't you? <laughs> there's a bed in there. Yes, yes. Very observant. Yeah. And over here, you turn the corner and we get into this really cozy little kitchen. Yeah. With uh, an espresso machine. And over here, we also have... Uh, can I open it? We don't have this at home either. Oh, a dishwasher. A dishwasher. Nice. We appreciate that. Yeah. And then a coffee machine, a toaster, and a water cooker, if you call it like that. Yeah. So. Over here, we have the trash can. Underneath the sink. And when I turn around all the way, we also have a microwave, and I think it's also an oven. And other side. Over here. Yeah, quite spacious uh, yeah. refrigerator. A pretty big refrigerator. First impressions, really cute. Yeah. But let's have a look in the bedroom. Really nice. And some plugs over here next to the bed. No USBs, but just yeah. regular European plugs. A TV over here, yeah. which is nice. Some closet space. There's some room under the bed too, so maybe you yeah. can uh, put your suitcase there. Yeah, you have some, some coat hangers. Wooden coat hangers. Yeah, they're quite nice. I think that's cute. Yeah. And then over here is the bathroom. I think I will turn off the light because it's yeah a little better this way. Nice tub. And we have a hair dryer. Which we are missing in one of our previous videos. Yeah. And a pretty big sink actually, with a lot of space around it, mm -hmm. so that's nice. And then we can also of course go outside. You can you hear the song of my people? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, but the seagulls are really loud. I think they're just uh, welcoming us to finish later. <laughs> yes, I think they are. <laughs> so we have some nice lounge chairs. and. A outside table. I think yeah. it's a little too cold when we're here to sit outside, but in the summer I can imagine it's really nice. And here we have a really nice lake view with the swimming pool or the, the aqualungo or something like that. Yeah. At the other side of the lake. Yeah. Okay. And right now it's not that hot, so I don't think we will use the outside space this much. But yeah, in the summer I can imagine that the different spaces are pretty close to each other. To our left they're pretty far away, especially the table. But our neighbors to the right are pretty close, actually. Um, maybe I saw the little bits on the ground and was like, oh, what bits are these? If you pan up, then you will see which bits are missing. <laughs> oh, yes! So, yeah, that's not a good paint job, oh. uh, Center Parks. What the heck? Get Village your stuff nature. together. This is uh, no good, na not good for nature. If anybody Look, is uh, watching HBO everywhere. The Last of Us, then you can see where this goes. It's everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, no, that's, uh, well, it needs well. it needs some yeah. painting. But Sorry. The, yeah, but the interior we didn't the see. The interior anything, is so. good. We just don't look up. This is the map that we got when we checked in. Check-in was also really easy. We just drove through the entrance and we got our bracelets. 
but you can use this to get into the building so into your own cottage and also at the swimming pool they told us and at the lockers over there and our building I don't know if you can see it that well is kind of over here so next to the lake and as you could see the swimming pool is on the other side and in a minute we will walk over here I think to get some food for the first impressions it was quite a yeah a big park you know have a lot of uh, nature around yeah I like the the atmosphere of the park and uh, we're just gonna walk around a bit and show you different uh, stuff we saw on the map and uh, yeah just to discover the park with you guys so and one thing that we already discovered on our quest around the park is the mini golf yeah, it doesn't look that old I think it's pretty recent that they opened this so we just found out that you can book the mini golf in different places but also in the app we have found the path to the forest into the forest it's good that they point a sign directly to the hideout. <laughs> <laughs> now it's not a secret hideout anymore. <laughs> no, now they, they didn't say it was secret though, so... Oh, that's quite awesome. You can see if Leon is gonna survive this one. <laughs> nice, you survived. I survived, I didn't get stuck there. <laughs> that's the most important part. Yeah. So they didn't break your uh, back when climbing up? No. <laughs> so, the forest of legends, that's where we just walked through. Very legendary. And now we're walking out of the forest area and into one of the villages. Because that's maybe nice to know that the village nature is a setup of different like villages of houses. So these are the houses that you can stay in with like six or even eight people, I think. I think that's a nice, yeah, staple of mm -hmm. village nature, the architecture. Yeah, you have um, not only the houses, but all the buildings and the shops and everything that you see is has a really nice, uh, well thought out design. And this park, as you can see probably, is not that old because of course the trees are not fully grown and everything looks pretty new and that's because it's only opened in 2017 I think yeah. um, and th back then it was a project from Center Parks and Disney combined uh, but now since this year so the beginning of 2023 uh, Disney said hey yo it's your own park now yeah, they, uh... so Center Parks runs it now on their own but before it was a combined project yeah, and I also think that I read somewhere that uh, Joe Rohde, so the Imagineer that also was kind of responsible for um, Animal Kingdom, mm -hmm. I think he was working on this project as well, yeah. which is interesting, I think, because I never heard that like an Imagineer worked on uh, Santa Parks. <laughs> no. We found one of the maps uh, around the park and oh, as you can see, it's a really big park actually. And our like apartment is right in the middle over here, so next to the lake. We have a beautiful lake view. And before we walked down here to the forest over here, and then through this like area with the cottages, so the bigger cottages. And now we are here at the farm. And they actually have like a farmhouse here. Yeah, you could also. Uh, book pony rides I think and uh, yeah. meeting small animals as they called it yeah. yeah maybe there's a lot of like a petting zoo yeah. kind of situation but it looks uh, really cool too and I believe there's like a play area inside indoor too so uh, looks quite fun too so we're just arriving at the marketplace and the promenade yeah. It's kind of the main area of the park with all the shops and over here at the beginning is the welcome house. Yeah, and that's like the reception of the park. 
there's also kiosks over here where you can like book your activities via the screen so this is actually exactly the same thing as you get in the app but here you can do it uh, like in a physical form of course there's a bowling at the park and there's a bar too so uh, you can order them some cocktails bar food nachos seems like that's quite a, a nice place actually so we are at the end of the promenade the main center where all the activities are and the Fabiano, the visiting center and uh, at the end there's a big building yes a very big building yeah and like you know in most uh, center parks uh, there is a bigger swimming pool yeah and there is here too and the design is quite awesome I think yeah. you can uh, even go up uh, from the outside so there's like a walking path you can go up and but you have a really nice view uh, yeah you can see a lot you can even see Tower of Terror right there in the distance yeah it's Probably hard to see for you guys, I think. I did not expect that we could get really all the way to the top. Like exactly. If we look here inside, it's it's the same height as the highest uh, like slide that's inside. Yeah, that's one of those slides that um, is like kind of a, of a aqua coaster, but not yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. There's even a part where you go up on one of them. Yeah. So it's in a in a like tube and yeah. also like double tubes. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, we will show you guys uh, the, the rest of the swimming pool, but uh, unfortunately the slides is not possible. Yeah. You win some, you lose some. morning we just had our first night of sleep in the the apartment over here and it wasn't that good of a night of sleep right joe it was a bit rough the yeah. bed is a bit stiff it's a bit hard um but uh yeah it's it's okay it's okay it's doable um but also the room wasn't that well ventilated i think yeah. i can't imagine to be here when it's 30 degrees <laughs> no, there's no ventilation and you can uh, put open the, the door over there in the living room but not in the bedroom so there's no way to ventilate that in any way. Yeah, it's quite interesting so uh, if you stay here in the yeah, in the heat of the summer like you said. Yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine how... Uh, there's how there's no air be. conditioning in here no. so keep that in mind if you yeah. look here in the high season for summer. Yeah. Um, but we just had breakfast as well at our nice breakfast table um, but another thing that we discovered is that there's no oven no oven <laughs> no we thought it was an oven we showed it earlier to you but uh, it is only a microwave only with a, a microwave. grill so we brought our own bread but we cannot bake it over here so we no. had to walk to the bakery fortunately they opened at 7 30 so yeah and for us first in line <laughs> yeah for us it's like five minute walk uh, yeah we are pretty close shorter. so that's Okay, yeah. but it was, uh, it was a little setback in yeah, the morning. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, now we are well fed. We yeah. had our nice breakfast with some croissants and uh, a baguette. Yeah. And now we go to the parks. So we will show you the drive over there and uh, have some fun at Disney. Yeah. That brings us to the end of the video. Yeah, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, we have a couple of videos planned for different hotels, yes. uh, resorts, parks, more stuff like this. Yeah, so if you are interested in multiple accommodations around Disneyland Paris, consider subscribing to our channel. But uh, for now, again, thank you very much. And uh, we will see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.